Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Vanessa. I am on my way downtown with my dad. Be hi. Ba. Be hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, so today I'm just going to be doing a quick video. Uh, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but basically it's going to be me talking about green flags that you should find in a partner, that your partner should have. So I texted it to my dad's phone so I could read it off. But we all know what red flags are. You know, I don't have to tell you. You should all know what red flags are in, in a partner. But here are some green flags. Um, some green flags that your partner should have is should be very affectionate. Takes an interest in your interests. So, for example, um, I think a green flag that I have for my partner is that he really loves sports and um, I don't. Uh, there are okay, like basketball, I have fun sometimes, but like football, like I get so bored. But I ask my partner questions about like who's playing and blah blah blah, and like I try to take interest in it, or like I go to basketball games or baseball games with my partner. Uh, sometimes you just gotta, you know, put interest in like what they're interested in because it means so much to them, they're passionate about it. For example, like when we went to New York, I was so excited to go see a, um, a Broadway show and my partner had never been to one, isn't really into musicals, but he came and we had a nice time and I felt so supportive as I'm sure he feels supported when I go to sports uh, events with him. So yeah, take interest. Uh, friendship, like it should, your partner should also feel like a friend. You know what I mean? Like you, you should be best friends. Uh, positive and supportive about you even when you're not uh, there are a lot of times where like I feel uh, very down on myself experiencing body dysmorphia maybe I like say some not nice things and my partner is still always super supportive of, of me uh, doesn't let me like speak badly about myself so I think that's really cool uh, so they should have a sense of humor uh, maybe like not afraid to laugh at themselves and just like laugh in general uh, willingness to share financially I think that's a good one too just because uh, especially like if you live together you should be able to like share the financial hardships um, between the two of you uh, share on all levels being vulnerable being a listener having uh, a fun uh, or like a childish side like just just having like a really good sense of humor a good personality uh, enjoying each other's company uh, I feel like that's a big one because like if you're not like enjoying the company with the person you're with and that's a major red flag if you are enjoying your company with them that's a really good green flag um, having individual interests so like you know I think it's you don't have to like oh my god we're perfect for each other we, we, we like the, the same things like everything is the same like yeah that's super cool but it's definitely really awesome when they take interest in their own thing and you take interest in your own thing. And I feel like you'll have things to talk about. You know what I mean? Um, supportive of personal growth and like not threatened by it. Uh, so like if, I don't know, something really cool happens to you, your partner wouldn't be jealous by it. They would be very supportive. They would be cheering you on. And I think that's a green flag a partner definitely has. Uh, accepting past without judgment like if you tell them a story about like something maybe you weren't so proud of they're not going to judge you for something you did in your past and I think that's really awesome okay, I have a couple more uh, not comparing you to others um, like your partner never comparing you to their ex or something that'd be so weird uh, or comparing you to any other person uh, respecting your privacy you know there are times where I'm, like I'm feeling very depressed and I don't want to talk to anyone and I'm like hey I'm just gonna like be in this room for a little bit can you give me like an hour of privacy so I could just like do my thing and they're very respectful about it I think that's cool respect for your job respect for children uh, maturity a sense of perspective you know they don't overreact about stuff they're confident uh, they fit in. They make an effort to fit in and talk to your friends or your family and stuff like that. You know, I think that's a good one. Uh, respects your individuality. Uh, admits when they make mistakes or apologizes when they make mistakes. 
uh, takes responsibility for their own needs. They share household chores. I think that's a huge one. Uh, they also enjoy their own solitude and their own privacy. And uh, they're willing to cope with ups and downs. I think that's a good one. I think of uh, uh, also some honorable mentions of someone who has green flags is that they're an ally to the LGBTQ community. Uh, they're um, an ally towards the Black Lives Matters community, the trans community, um, and basically having like your your moral background, like all the stuff that you believe in. Because I dated someone who, um, like, we were like a year in, I and I didn't even realize that he was transphobic, he was racist, he was homophobic, and like it's like how can you say you're an ally but you're dating someone like who's not uh so yeah definitely make sure that green flags would be that they share the same morals as you you know um i think those are those are big ones so definitely hopefully you're in like a really awesome relationship where you see all these green flags and like zero to little red flags for you but you'll know you'll know when you're in the right relationship and when those people are um good for you when you're a good match and you guys match each other's energies and um your green flags complement each other well, that's all i was gonna say pa que piensas tu muy bien muy bien <laughs> no es, es que estoy diciendo que cuando estás con una persona tu pareja, tu media naranja, deben de ser como tu mejor amigo. Que deben de ser nice, deben de uh, hacerte reír, um, que te apoyan y que deben de ser tu mejor amigo, ¿verdad? Así tiene que ser. ¿Así eres tú con mi mamá? Mejor. ¿Mejor? <laughs> ¡Wow! Alright, well guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned a little something. Uh, and I will see you guys at the next one. Bye cuties! Bye-bye, Pa!